I'm very pleased to confirm that the Iraq Historical Allegations team that was set up to look into thousands of allegations that have been brought forward against British troops in Iraq is now going to be wound up this summer. We're able to do that because most of these allegations now fall away following the striking off of the dishonest solicitor Phil Shiner as a result of the evidence that we put before the solicitor's disciplinary tribunal. There will be a handful of remaining allegations which will now be put over to the service police to investigate in the normal way. This will be a huge relief to hundreds of British troops who've had these quite unfair allegations hanging over them. Uh, they're now being uh, freed of that and we will put in place new measures now to ensure this never happens again, that there are proper safeguards to prevent completely malicious and unfounded allegations being made against our brave servicemen and women. Just one supplementary on that. The, the report from MPs is fairly damning in some respects. It talks about the whole IHAT procedure process having eroded the trust between the military and their civilian masters, and it says that the MOD could well have uh, discerned between the credible and non-credible claims uh, that it has a role to play in that. What, what would you say to that? Well, the process was necessary because it was required by the courts. Otherwise, this country would have been placed in front of the International Criminal Court. So it was the Court of Appeal who required us to set up IHAT. It faced an appallingly large workload simply because of the industrial scale of this uh, malevolent, malicious activity. Thousands of allegations were made against it. Now that we have uh, been successful in exposing just how false these allegations were, putting the evidence before the solicitor's disciplinary tribunal and getting Phil Shiner struck off, we're now able to clear away the vast majority of these allegations and wind up the whole IHAT process. Great, thank you very much. Well, I mean, the first thing I would say up front is that the Army's leadership code requires the Army to be held to the very highest values and standards. And I think everybody understands that. But as we've clearly seen during the course of this week, where you get um, unscrupulous lawyers uh, making vexatious allegations, um, it is absolutely inappropriate. Uh, so from my perspective, um, I think this is something that will be really important. It will make a big statement to the army. And most importantly of all, I think, it shows that the government is four square behind supporting the army and providing it with the appropriate framework in which our soldiers can deal with those very difficult operational decisions that they have to deal with. What do you say to those service personnel who feel they've been somewhat hung out to dry by this whole process? Um, well, the answer is I think we'll have to wait and see how all that transpires. But they, I'm sure, will be very gratified that where these things have been shown to be absolutely vexatious and unscrupulous, that the government is supporting them in the way the government is.